friends welcome to be a part of creative wanderers now it's time to learn one of the inbuilt functions in python and that is our bin function well what does this mean when i hover over this it tells that this function returns a binary representation of an integer so let's say we have an integer 7 then it should return the binary representation of 7 right let's check it out if i just print this and run this yes we got it right so this is the binary representation of 7 and here this output 0 b 1 1 1 this whole together is in the binary representation of 7 in memory because i hope you remember in one of my previous videos i said that everything in our computer's memory is of zeros and ones that mean in binary representation right so binary numbers here 7 in memory is Just one, one, one. Then why is a zero B in front of this, right? Well, as soon as we give our interpreter that, you know, you have to return us this binary representation, and we give it this binary function. So it checks in memory what is this representation of seven. Well, it carried as one, one, one. and for us to know that hey this is a binary representation it returns with a zero b in front of this to make it more clear for you if you just type in google what is the binary representation of 7 you'll get the answer and that is the 7 is represented as 0111 in memory and our repl our interpreter knows it and grabs it from memory but for us to know that this is a binary representation there will be a zero b in front of this so that as soon as i print this i'll get it as zero b 1 1 this is interesting right but to make it more interesting Let's say we are the computers and we want to retrieve this number retrieve this binary number as an integer so what can we do let's type int and then this number which is of base 2 right if i print this run this again well i get it as 7 right so what did i do here i just told the interpreter that this is a number a binary number which is of base 2 and you have to convert into an integer right and then print this out so that we get it as 7 So this is a bit interesting but this is actually not necessary for you as a beginner in most of the beginner courses this won't be said but then i just mentioned it because you have to know what is happening in memory right you can omit this video guys also the before video which is of complex data type you can omit that too these both are optional videos and in most of the courses beginner courses this may not be taught it's a that see in the next video stay tuned